I am she. <laughs> I had to move over here so I could, uh, because there's so much light, I had to over there is a little timer to tell me whether or not the camera's on, so I'm a weirdo. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I finally got to hobble into Hobby Lobby and use my $30 gift card from my uh, little sister. So, with that, I got one wool ease in charcoal, two of these Yarn Bee Soft Secret in butter, so nice. I threw it on the ground. Um, <clears throat> Bernat Candy Baby. Two. This was on clearance. It is Orchid. Lion Brand. Um, Yarn Bee. This was on clearance for $3.39. Buckle Tradition Brush Brindle Mix. Oh, I only got one of these. And... It kind of grosses me out. I can... Oh, creepy doll. Creepy doll fur. Then, with my Michaels gift card from my big sister for $30, I got three of these patent metallic in green. And three in purple. Patent metallic. There we go. Okay, so that was Hobby Lobby and Michaels with the gift cards. Then, um, I cashed in the $100 check from Mark's parents for my birthday. And I was just going to put it in, like, my savings account, but Mark insisted that they bought it for me to spend, not to save. And he will tell them if I just save it. So I had to but all of this, um, yesterday was only $42, because there was a four-hour sale, uh, 20% off your entire purchase, including on sale items, and then, on top of that, I only bought sale items. So, all of the charisma was on sale from Loops and, Loops and Threads, so I got four of the white, one, Two, three, where's the other one? Okay, four of those. I got four of the Charisma Black Raspberry. That's so cool. Two, three, four. Four of the Charisma Holiday for a nice four of the Vanna Choice in Orchid, I believe. No, Purple Mist. They have one in blue and white denim, but I'm not really a fan of denim, so I got the purple. So four of those. And then, believe it or not, in my miles and miles of yarn, I didn't have any uh, Karen Simply Soft and Brown. So I got two of them. Um, so all of the Charisma was on sale for $2.79 each. And the Karen Simply Soft was on sale for two for five bucks. And so that worked out well. It all came to 42 bucks, so I have a little under 60 bucks still left. No, I used 20 of it to buy dinner yesterday for us. And that is all. And this is what all of that looks like on my floor. <laughs> because I am 100% out of space there. Um, I might have to use that, but, and I am 100% out of space there. I guess I could start putting it up there, or remove the little trinkets. I could also take my Halloween village down, but I don't want to. So 
So it might have to go onto there. And that is all. I am going, woohoo, that was fun. I'm going to go to my doctor's appointment and uh, she's going to yell at me about my high blood pressure. But there's nothing I could do. I cut all my sodium out. I quit smoking. I pumped up my water. I, I already drink four gallons a week. Four to five gallons a week myself. I keep a, a gallon on my desk at work. And uh, I always have a backup. And then um, I always have a gallon on the counter. So I know I go to through four to five gallons myself. Uh, Mark doesn't drink out of the gallons, so I just... That's how I know. There's nobody else drinking it. Every Sunday, I have to go get more. Um, that's it. My knee is just dislocated, so he gave me a special brace that uh, holds my patella because it was veering off to the right, and uh, it needs to go to the left. So this brace actually pushes my bone to the left. And it feels a lot better. I still, uh, I can bend it. I don't think I can run. And I cannot go upstairs yet, up and down the stairs. So uh, I'm afraid of the pain. But my elbow, um, I can almost bend it straight. So it, I had a lot of pain. And then yesterday, or not yesterday, this morning I was putting the laundry away. And I, um, I had the laundry like this, and I tipped it, which I haven't been able to do that. And But when I did that, something ripped in here. It sounded like Velcro, and it hurt, and it burned. And as soon, it was like less than 20 seconds for that pain to go away and the shock. And then my elbow was fine. It's still creaky, and it's still a little swollen and bruised. But that was my main, um, it doesn't hurt when I do that now. The doctor said he doesn't like me crocheting. He said, that's not helping your elbow. I'm like, well, it's helping my spirit. He tried to take that away from me, and I said, damn. All right, well, I'm going to go now. Um, I don't know what time it is. I could be way late for my appointment. So I'm going to go and have a wonderful day. And, uh, that's it. And then I, get, I have to go straight to work after that. Maybe they'll admit me to the hospital for my blood pressure. Maybe I could get an extra day off. I guess working half a day isn't so bad. But whatever. And I'm just going to leave this in the middle of the floor until I know what to do. I keep my door locked, my door shut, so the dogs aren't in here. So nobody's going to trample my yarn. Okay, I'm out of here. And have a wonderful day. And have a... Be creative, America. Bye.